in the qualification series leading up to it. And uh, most people feel had she had a little bit more time, uh, she could have been placed on that team easily and therefore have an Olympic gold medal around her neck as well. Absolutely. She has fans all over who love not only her gymnastics, her spirit. She took that disappointment in stride, immediately turned her attention to what she could do for this team. Has remained humble and just such an important part to their success. Very nice full twisting double back. You notice the tape on her right knee about a month and a half ago. She incurred a little bit of a bone bruise in the dual meet against Georgia. And so the team kind of rested her and said, hey, we have enough depth this year. We have eight potential competitors on every event. We can give you a chance to recover for the national championships. Let's go down to Laura. Bart, Maggie watched this NCAA championships last year on TV, watching her future team win it. She said she cried more than the girls who were here. She was so excited to be a part of that. And that's when she knew that she wanted to be a part of getting this team back here to this moment. Oklahoma's had two athletes go out of bounds on floor exercise. Chase Caps went out, as did Natalie Brown. A lot of power, it's hard to control it sometimes. What's beautiful of Maggie's gymnastics is how powerful it is, but so much finesse as well. So soft on the landings, great combination of qualities. Could be a big weekend coming up from this young lady. She's number one in the country in the all around. And she's leading the undefeated Sooners as they try to win their third national title. Yes, she has power, but look at the elegance that she shows in these hardest skills. Very soft landing. She absorbs really the, the power. You have to concentrate it all in on this landing, absorb the landing so you don't bounce out of bounds. And she does it so well. Freshman Maggie Nichols. World Championship gold medalist and the freshman phenom.